disastrous flooding of the Yellow River and subsequent famine during the reign of the now deposed usurper Wang Mang caused upheaval throughout the empire. The royal tumuli at Chang'an were sacked and the city left in ruins. Guang Wu Di, the new emperor and legitimate heir to the Han throne, has decreed that a new Han capital must be established further east at Luoyang. In the early days of Chang'an, your ancestor nobly served the renowned Emperor Wu Di as city administrator. Our sagacious new emperor now calls upon you to see if you possess the same shrewd administrative and planning skills as your esteemed ancestor. Furthermore, trade along the Silk Road must be resumed forthwith, as a distant empire's thirst for our luxurious silk is hard to quench. Meanwhile, our northern border remains a problem, as the wily Zhongnu are quick to take advantage of our recent internal strife. Trusted generals predict that barbarian raids targeting border cities should not be unexpected. Any spare hours the citizens might have can now be spent relaxing in lovely Tai Chi parks. Paying homage to Zhao Jun, a respected Taoist deity, could provide important benefits to the growing city. Lastly, remain cautious of the dangerous and unpredictable waters.
Confucius says, He who keeps the old akindo and adds new knowledge is fit to be a teacher.
Traders that have traveled the perilous Silk Road make mention of a great city called Roma in a far distant empire. But the grandeur of that and all other barbarian cities surely pales in comparison to the splendor and magnitude of the new Han capital at Luoyang.